I'm Dr. Harmony Reynolds. I'm a cardiologist at NYU Langone Medical Center. I'm a general cardiologist with an interest in heart disease in women, and I'm also a researcher. This year at the American Heart Association Scientific Sessions in Dallas, my research group is presenting our work adding ankle brachial index testing to stress testing. Ankle brachial index testing is very simple. It's just blood pressure cuffs on the arm and the leg and a comparison of the blood pressure in those two spots that gives us an understanding about the health of the blood vessels in between. And what we found is that more than 7% of these ankle brachial index tests are abnormal at rest. And in 93% of those, the stress test was normal. So in this research study, we have our patients getting an ankle brachial index test, which is a test for disease in the peripheral arteries in the legs. Peripheral arterial disease is atherosclerotic disease of the lower extremities. So it's really analogous to plaque that may build up in the heart arteries or in the arteries leading to the brain, but this is plaque building up in the arteries leading to the legs. And the plaque can cause a dysfunction of the blood vessels and can also lead to problems down the line. Early diagnosis of peripheral arterial disease seems to be most important, surprisingly not to save the legs, but to save the heart and to prevent stroke. Because people who have peripheral arterial disease are at substantial risk for heart attack and stroke down the line, and fortunately, the same treatments work to prevent all of the problems that we are worried about. So a take-home message for patients is, even in the context of a normal stress test, it's very important to understand your long-term risk for cardiovascular disease and what you can do to reduce it. So it's a good idea to ask your doctor, even if your stress test comes out normal, what is my risk for cardiovascular disease and what can I do to reduce that risk down the line?